Hey, what's going on guys? It's Rachel. Welcome back to my channel. If you're returning, welcome if you're new. I am a part-time reseller on sites like eBay, Poshmark, and Mercari, and I love um, finding undervalued goods, thrifting, unboxing videos, however I can really, and I love to sell them online for a profit. I love also sharing my finds on this channel, my unboxing videos and thrift hauls. So today I actually have a 50 pound thread up DIY denim rescue box. So if you like content like this, definitely subscribe to my channel. I do unboxing videos, thrift hauls, etc., a few times a week. And I love sharing my reseller tips and tricks with you guys on my channel in hopes that it helps you in your reseller business. Drop this video a like at any time if you find this helpful. That really helps me out a lot. All right, so my last thread up DIY denim box. I can link the video here if you want. Um, it was a 30 pound and then they switched it back to 50 pounds. So whatever, uh, I guess I'll take 50 pounds today. But some of the stuff I didn't list just because I felt like, you know, I picked out the pieces that I, I felt were like the highest value and then other stuff I just kind of felt wasn't worth my time and I either took it to buy, sell, trade or I donated it to uh, the local Goodwill. But you guys had commented on it and you said, hey, you know, you should list this or I have good luck selling that. And they were things that I didn't actually like try to sell. So with this box, and I'm saying this before I even open it, I, this is still sealed. I am going to challenge myself to actually list everything in this box, um, whether I feel like it's worth my time or not. Um, and just see what happens, even if it's brands I wouldn't normally source, as long as they're not like damaged or stained or just like too worn to, to list. Anything that is in listable condition, I will still list. So let's open it up. I say that not having seen what's in the box yet. Um, I always do my unboxing videos live so you guys can get my initial reaction. And then I will come back 90 days later and tell you guys what actually sold. And so with this one, I do encourage you to subscribe and check out the 90 day on this one because I really am going to list everything and see if it makes a difference. So this thing is heavy and it is pretty well taped up. Um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to list everything on five different platforms. I do use List Perfectly to cross list and it really helps me get everything cross posted to all the different places quickly. And then I will uh, come back 90 days later and tell you guys what happened and whether or not I think this box was profitable. Um, okay, we are in, how much should I pay for this? Let's see if it tells me. This was a $50 plus shipping for 50 pounds of denim. So about a dollar a pound. Okay, I'll show you, it's, it's not real exciting in here. Like it's just literally a bunch of denim. Yep, there it is. So I guess uh, let's dive right in. This on top looks like a jacket actually. And I wonder if this is vintage. Uh, the brand is Union Bay, which I think in, what was it, the 80s or the, 90, the early 90s? Like this was a popular brand. Um, there's a style number on here, so I should be able to look it up. Matter of fact, I'm going to hold myself accountable here. I am going to post the listing here if I listed it or the reason why I didn't list it if I didn't list it. Um, this might take a minute, so grab a snack or something, grab your death pile, get to listing, get to photographing, hang out with me while I open this up. Um, this is Bacini. I have uh, seen this brand before. I don't think I've ever thrifted it. It's a nice, uh, another nice denim jacket and actually... It's a size 1X, so that's a, a good size, but it's definitely it's definitely dated. I'm not sure if it's dated in a good way or not. I guess we will see. This is O'Neill and it's a skirt. Um, this is, whoops, this is definitely old. Um, but actually O'Neill has done surprisingly well for me, even older stuff, so that might be okay. Apartment nine. So this is definitely something I would just donate back ordinarily, but I guess it looks like it's in good shape. Size eight. 
So I'll list this stuff for at least 90 days. I can't promise you I'm gonna keep it around longer than that if it doesn't sell, but I will give it a try. These don't have a tag. Oh, well, okay. So they don't have a size tag or a brand tag. There is a fabric tag, um, but the button says Club Monaco, which is a great brand. So maybe I can find the style, like more information about the style name, um, just by maybe a, a Google Lens search. These are like jeggings, because they they've got the stretchy waistband. They're juicy couture. Okay. Those might have went to buy sell trade, but I'll I'll keep them. These are Isabel Maternity, which I see in the thrift store all the time and I just pass. So, um, I'll, I guess I'll list these. Maternity sells. Um, I just don't have the patience for it a lot of times. This is the brand Rewash and the, the logo's coming off, but they look okay otherwise. Size 11, so a decent size. And I'm not saying I'm gonna get like a ton of money for these, like the ones that I list just to, to see if they'll sell. You know, I might list them for 10 or $15, but I'd re I wanna see if they sell. Like, I really wanna know. This is another denim jacket. Um, John Galt is on the button, G-A-L-T. Um, there's no logo I can really show you. J. Galt, Shanghai, size small. I think stuff like this is really going to challenge my ability to use keywords and hashtags. Um, if you've got any ideas for that one, let me know. These are Denizen Modern Pull-On Crop. I'll tell you what, these normally would go straight to the thrift store. But I've got the space, as you can see behind me. Um, my reseller room is really coming together. I've got the space. I can, I can keep this stuff around for 90 days, I'm confident, without it taking up too much space for other things. So it's fine. I want to try. I really do. Uh, these are Chico's size 2 dash size 12. These are pull-on jeggings. You know... Chico's does all right. I don't pick it up regularly, but this is one of those things, like, since I have them, I absolutely will list them. They're not that old looking. They're not too dated, so it's okay. Um, these are, ooh, my fave, American Eagle. Love getting AE in my um, thread up boxes. These are kick boot, and they are bleached. You know, American Eagle has the date inside. When are these from? 2015. So like boot cut jeans are coming back, I think. So actually, um, as long as these are not, yeah, I don't see any puckering or anything. So th that's that's a great pair. Uh, Arizona. These are either mom jeans or relax. These are maybe men's jeans. Yeah, 32 by 30. Oh boy. I would not usually list these, but I guess <laughs> I guess I'll try. Um, these are Naked and Famous. So I have never heard of the brand Naked and Famous. They're not damaged. Well, maybe that's supposed to be there. Hmm. These feel so cheap, S-O-N-G. Uh, oh, you know what? I'm gonna go ahead and not list these because of, of the puckering on the booty. You guys see that right here? It's really stretched and puckered. I would not feel comfortable listing that. And quite frankly, these are like paper thin. They, what were these sold at like Family Dollar? Like super, super trash. Okay. Tommy Hilfiger, Capri's, uh, love it, not really. Um, the size tag, oh, um, the size tag is there, the fabric tag is cut out, they're a size two. 
you know it probably goes with anything else the um the capri length jeans are not in style right now and so if somebody's really like into that like that's their favorite style it's probably hard to find in a store um these are forever 21 super high rise yeah they're like snap the buttons are snap oh, okay you know forever 21 it can do surprisingly well sometimes i don't like to list it because i really don't agree with their business practices i guess but i'll try it i think these are men's these are j crew yeah j crew the sutton they're a size 31 by 30 and i don't see a fabric tag on this one either which unfortunately guys the re oh here maybe not i was gonna say sometimes thread up when things are missing tags that's a good reason for them to not list them um, these are from fall 2016 these are men's lucky so far these are ooh, made well they're bigger size i think 10 inch high rise size 31 okay okay um, there's a little bit of like color wear in the crotch area but i don't see any puckering of course you guys i'm going through this really fast so when i um sit down to inventory and list this stuff i will double check it over for stains or flaws that I don't notice right away. That happens a lot with these boxes. I, I get excited about stuff and then I actually sit down to really process it and it it's not always as good as it looks. But, so good news and bad news. Good news, it's Paige. Good news, no puckering. Bad news, these are really dated and they're a size 24. The Hollywood Hills Classic Rise Boot Cut. Yeah, these are super old. Um, they are organic cotton, the tag says. So that'll be a good tag to use. Um, I guess we'll see. Rewash, high rise cutoff shorts. Are they high rise? Maybe. Button fly at least. I have like zero shorts. When I go thrifting, Shorts is not really what I look for. If I get shorts in my closet, it's because I found them by accident or I got them in a, a box. And I did get a couple pair of shorts lately and they sold all really quick. So it'll be nice to add some shorts. These are the Madewell Road Tripper. I have never heard of this style of Madewell jeans, but they look like they're high rise skinny. There's a little bit of puckering. No, there's a lot of bit of puckering. I don't look. Mm, is that staining too? I think there, yeah, there's some staining here. That's unfortunate. Um, you know, I might have been able to look past list and disclose one or the other, but there's a fine line between like, you know, things are okay still. They still have some resale value. People will still overlook certain flaws and you don't want like a case you don't want complaints and that's i think what would happen with those um so i'll just skip those these are the mid-rise ankle skinny celebrity pink i have no idea where celebrity pink is sold at but um it's not anything quality and actually the strings are kind of pulled out here so there's holes in the pocket there's holes in both pockets i'm not going to list these um Maybe if it was a higher end brand, I would look past that, but no, I'm not going to list those. Uh, these are the Old Navy Super Skinny. And Old Navy will sometimes surprise you too. Size four short. Um, as long as these are in good shape, they've got a little bit of a mark on them, but I uh, might be able to get that out. So, oh, and I got some uh, bonus bobby pins there on the pocket. All right, I'll... Uh, I'll probably list those. More shorts. These are No Boundaries, which I think is a Walmart brand. Size seven. I guess I could throw them up for five bucks. More shorts. Vanilla Star. Uh, I mean, I guess they look good. Mid-rise midi shorts. Size three. What's this? 
more men's jeans, Banana Republic Vintage Street, size 35. That's an odd size for, for jeans, for men's jeans, 35. Okay. I don't think I've ever tried to sell men's Banana Republic jeans. Super dated, seven for all mankind bootcut jeans. I mean, size 26. Oh, all right. Buy, sell, trade wouldn't take those anyway. They're way too dated. These are ANA jegging, which I think is sold at Kohl's. It's either Kohl's or JCPenney, I'm pretty sure. Um, these are... Oh, I'm so tempted. These would go straight to thread up. I'll wait. I do, I did get some thread up labels. They they let me have a few labels. Did they let you guys have labels? They did that thing where they, they said we're back or whatever, and then they gave out some labels. Um, so that was exciting. Super dated DKNY jeans. Oh, these are, these are cut at the bottom. And not in a good way. Like somebody just took a pair of scissors to those. These are going in the trash. Wah, wah. Liverpool. You know, I've heard good things about this brand. It's not a brand I personally pick up, but I guess we can see how these do. Uh, these are size two. And I don't see a style name or anything. That's okay. Yeah, they look pretty good. Uh, okay, I've never heard of this brand, Henry and Bell. Size 26 petite. Okay, see, this is the thing. As many of the, and I've gotten dozens of denim boxes from different, you know, companies. Every time I end up getting a brand that I have to research and learn more about. So for all I know, that might be something good that I've never heard of, never thought to look for. Uh, these, hmm, these are Time and True, which I think is Walmart. They're a high-rise button fly crop. So, I mean, they're Walmart, but I guess the style's good. And they're a size 16, so. Massimo, Target, Mid-Rise Skinny. Uh, these really should be going straight to thread up, but I will try to list them. Pistola. This is another brand I often overlook. Uh, I don't think I've ever picked it up. Size 26. Hmm. Okay, um, this is the brand Ragged, which I've never heard of, by the way. Size 28, so these are women's, I guess. Oh boy, okay. So is this supposed to be here? That's on the bottom, on the on the booty. I guess if the brand is called Ragged, I'll have to look. That might be something good, actually. It's on, it seems to be like uh, in style. All right, this is Time and True again. This is like a midi denim skirt, size 20, so good size. It's more like chambray. I don't really consider this denim, but okay. Gap, legging jeans. I will tell you, and you may have heard me say before, I absolutely um, love Gap jeans. Even these are an older style, but Gap jeans, when I get them, I always list them. Yeah, these are January 2014, um, but they will probably still, still sell. Uh, not for a lot. I'm not saying they will sell for a lot, but um, if you get Gap jeans in your mystery boxes, still list them. I know it's tempting. They're a mall brand. Still list them. Oh, I see some AG. Adriano Goldschmied, which I also like selling this brand. This is a made in the USA brand. These are puckered. Puckered in the front, 
Um, so you can see how it's sort of bubbled right here in the crotch area. The elastic is wearing out and that's why that happens. Uh, size 24. Old Navy bootcut jeans, definitely dated style. Uh, these are from 2015, yeah. Mm. Well, I'm sticking to my word, you guys. Sticking to my word. Another pair of Old Navy bootcut jeans. These are girls, uh, children's, size 14. These are men's. So this will be interesting because the brand is Fat Farm, which I feel like all the guys were wearing when I was in high school in the early 2000s. So this is probably Y2K. Um, the bottoms are hemmed, which I don't love. And somebody did a very poor hem job too. Uh, okay, these are a maybe, ba just based on the condition, they're a maybe. I'm not sure that I'm comfortable with the hem job on those. Leslie Faye Casual. Is this vintage? Somebody tell me if this is vintage. It says made in Guatemala, so I'm going to say probably not. Um, but I pass stuff like this all the time, this brand. I mean, I guess it's cute. Not on me, but, you know, maybe it's if you're going for this kind of style. Maternity shorts. Jessica Simpson maternity. Okay. I mean, they look okay. Couple more, you guys, couple more. We're getting there. Jessica Simpson pink jeggings, or kiss me super skinny, it says. More shorts. Zico. These are like super low rise and they're pretty dated, but. STS Blue. I've had this in my thread up boxes before. It doesn't do great. These are cut off like in the way that cut off jeans are supposed to be cut off. So. All right, I'm just gonna grab the rest of these. These are Levi's 514. They're boys, size 16. There is a big stain here on the pocket, if you guys can see that. Uh, all right. Men's Levi's do pretty well for me. Boys 16 is a hard size to sell. Vanilla Star shorts. They're high rise, high rise midi shorts. Last pair, last two pairs. All right, we'll, we'll go here. Okay, here's another pair of Madewell jeans. These are the nine inch high rise, nine inch mid rise skinny, size 24. So a little bit of a hard size, but they're Madewell. I mean, I, I have probably 100% sell through rate on Madewell jeans. They do sell very quickly for me. Last pair. More seven for all mankind. And these are, uh, I don't even know what these are. Size 12, these are kids. I'm gonna say they're probably maybe boys. I don't know. They're, they're kids size. I'm, I'm looking at the cut of them. I'm thinking maybe boys, but I guess I really don't know. Um, Usually you can tell by the pockets if the pockets are super deep. They kind of are. I don't have to figure out if these are boys or girls. Um, so that's all of them. Let me count and see how many we have total here. How many pieces?
So I counted a total of 46 items, whether it's jeans or jackets or shorts, um, that I at first pass look like they're okay to list, which is not bad. Um, you know, I think ThreadUp has gotten a lot better about sending quality items and not just like total trash. They do market this as a DIY box for crafters and upcyclers, but I think that resellers were buying the boxes and got kind of upset, I mean, understandably, that a lot of the stuff was not wearable or usable. So um, no complaints as far as the number of pieces and the quality of the pieces. There's only three or four items that just at first pass, I know I'm not going to be able to list based on the condition. So that's pretty good. This box, I just checked, it came from Suwanee, Georgia, which, you know, I live in the metro Atlanta area. So you would think that like all of my boxes would come from Georgia, their Georgia warehouse, but actually they don't. It's very random. I think I get a good equal mix of like all four warehouses, uh, Pennsylvania, I think, Illinois, Georgia, and Arizona. I think, I think those are the four. So let me know if there's any of this stuff that you think like you wouldn't list or you would list. Um, am I really just wasting my time on any of it? Let me know what you think. You subscribe to my channel if you want to see the 90 day update on this one. I am interested to see if I end up making more money by listing more of the stuff or if I really am just uh, making a chore for myself by listing things that are probably not going to sell anyway, at least in my prediction. So um, definitely stick around for the update on this one. Drop this video a like if you have not already. We are almost 30 minutes in and you're still here, so that deserves a like for sure. And uh, thank you very much for watching, guys. I will catch you in the next one.